It is July 10th at 4 p.m. That is important because if we don't finish this vlog, you know that we didn't get back. We're going on a bit of an adventure that has an element of danger to it. Something that we might not come back from. Or we might get trapped there forever. So I think we can find one of the original mines up on this mountain that basically gave birth to the communities around this area. In my planning, I've got this trek going on car, bike, and hiking just to get into where this mine actually is. And this is an old Forest Service road. I'm gonna to have to find a pullover spot, take out the bikes, and we'll have to go from there. You and your fancy new helmet, ready to use it today? Yeah. We biked already to the top of the map. This is stage two of our trek. We're gonna head down this bike path, and then we pull over, throw the bikes in the bush, and go for a hike. Handed. I don't know if I can do this. Oh. <laughs> Almost hit that rock. I'm gonna go safer now. Put the camera away. This is an actual mine from decades ago during the gold rush, and I don't know how far this goes in. I don't know if it's caved in somewhere, and I don't know if it's going to sustain us, but I do know that we have our trusty flashlights, and we'll see how far we go in. Starting to feel a little bit, uh, I don't know, creepy like uh, something behind me, and I'm not liking that feeling. So, okay, buddy, let's get our bikes. Let's go! Alright, let's get out of here. Getting off the mountain. Although, while this was a little bit, I don't know, it was creepy coming out of that mine. Let me want to learn a little bit more about how the old timers actually did all that and they had nothing they had nothing back then i'm gonna go find out i think i know a spot now it's back down and now it's back down the rough hill i did a search for mining history and came up with the chamber of mines here in nelson and I'm here and I'm just going to check it out and see if they have any stories of some old timers. So here's the Chamber of Mines, Museum of the History of Mining. Found out one really interesting thing about the mines here in Nelson. In 1898, Nelson was bustling from mining, but more than gold came from the Silver King mine. I was greeted by Laurel and Brad 
who quickly turned to stories of necessity being the mother of invention. Miners trekked 20 kilometers up and down the mountain through thick bushes, heat, and snow. To provide for their families and themselves, they needed to constantly invent and produce. Miners owned one three-piece suit and left town for two months at a time. They would return with their gold, silver, and zinc to be melted and sold. To protect these valuable minerals, they kept their hands in their pockets, close to their guns. But to have the Silver King mine grow to support enough men, Andrew Halliday, who designed the San Francisco trolley system, came to Nelson to design the first hanging cable car tram. Unfortunately, the available hemp rope couldn't withstand the weight. Andrew then developed the first metal cable to replace him and had 31 horses transport the 7,600 pounds of metal cable up the mountain. John Mulholland, also a progressive thinker in 1925, recognized that miners could grow the city of Nelson if he just petitioned the government to gain financial support. I, John W. Mulholland of the city of Nelson, BC, the Honorable William Sloan, sure treated me like a long lost brother. He even took me to dinner at the Empress Hotel. When you get them settled together, wire me to my office here, and I will put an order in council to at once for $2,500. The inventor of the electrolytic zinc process was Frederick T. Snyder. He figured out how to run 15,000 volts through piles of rock at the Nelson smelter to extract the much desired zinc mineral. The Kootenays were a highly innovative area with the new inventions and hard work this made it possible for the Silver King mine to provide 60% of the wealth in British Columbia. That's roughly $3 billion back then. The resources paid for the construction of many of the roads we drive on today and the Parliament buildings. Thank you for watching that micro 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 documentary as documentaries go that was pretty tiny but it was close to my heart grew up in nelson so i loved kind of doing that doing the research looking through the history and being able to tell that story with you guys so thanks for watching that but it really brings up like snyder and moholland and halliday all those things that they invented back in a time when it was so difficult and necessity of just being able to live and have food for living and making any sort of money just so you could have a family and, and grow that. That was necessity. I almost feel like now we're going through a little bit of the hardship as well, that we have a little bit more access to more tools and information to give us the ability to I don't know, maybe invent something something smaller just for us that we think that we can actually use. Maybe this might be the impetus to have others start something new and be their own inventors. I think it never ends. Invention and hardship, always there for us. I can just figure out how to get through this alley.